Welcome back to CA Football Media Day live here at m and Bank Stadium. And we have the pleasure to be joined by a former CA alum, Tim Hightower, the University of Richmond, yes, sir. former running back. Good to see you, Tim. How are you enjoying the day so far? This is awesome. It, it, it's, it's awesome to be back. Um, this is great, man. It's, it's college football is here. Right? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. It's exciting. Now, are you, are you down in Richmond? I'm in Richmond. Richmond's home uh, for me and my family. So we drove down from Richmond last night. That's great. We, had, we just had uh, the, the spiders on. They said you get to work out a little bit at the, so you're still working out, trying to keep yourself uh, in shape at the facility? I have to, I have <laughs> to, um, I've got three kids now, man. So um, I gotta, I gotta stay active, Absolutely. man. And you know, I, I don't want to be the dad that, that once had it, yeah. you know, cause I, I got two boys, man. And, and, and I know, I, I challenged my dad, right? When I, when I got a certain oh, yeah. age. So I, I gotta stay on top of it for sure. Well, yeah. for some of the folks, we had the opening ceremony you know, streamed live earlier, and you had a great, powerful message yeah. to the student athletes that were here. That for those that missed it, what were you really? What was the main point you were trying to get across to, especially the student athletes that were in attendance today? Yeah, uh, for me, I, I really went went back to where I was uh, when I thought about speaking. Where was I as a as a young collegiate athlete, and uh, just the perspective? You know, the, the first point of just having a why, knowing why do I do what I do and, and what do I want to accomplish? What do I want to get? And it's like sometimes if, if you can get a young kid or any, anybody to have it in perspective in mind, it will help. Uh, it would help all their decisions. Um, and a lot of them are frustrated. You know, they're competitive. Some feel like they, they should be at a bigger school or yeah. a coach at, 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 at a bigger school. But no, when you have a why, when you understand why you're there and what you want to accomplish, take advantage of this great opportunity that you have, yep. um, the guys that you have, the locker room that you have, the experience that you have. So that's really the message I wanted to drive home. Talk, it was 150 years of college football this year. Wow. That's, wow. A, that's, a, that's yeah. a long time, right? And, yeah. and uh, being a guy that played college football in the NFL myself, I know what football did for me. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what college football did for you. Uh, a, it, it developed, a, it, it forged a work ethic. Um, it's it's one thing to um, to do the workouts, but when you're talking about on top of school, you're talking about uh, early morning, late morning, you know, late, late evening, that work ethic, and especially I'm partial to FCS now, it was yeah. one double A, you know, <laughs> uh, because you, it, it was never good enough. We knew we always had to do a little bit more. You had to do a little bit extra to be recognized. Um, but I think it was great. It was just that work ethic uh, that was for us that I need as a father, I need in business. Mm -hmm. I need for, I need it in the NFL, I need it for the rest of my life, man. So college football, just the, the, the lessons from adversity, the work ethic, uh, going through things from being staying up all night, finishing the paper, <laughs> to getting up at six o'clock, doing a workout yeah. with your buddies. All of those lessons, man, those, those, were, those were huge for me. I think my favorite question has been to these former uh, CAA football students student athletes that have come back that played in the NFL. We've had Nick Boyle who plays for the Ravens right now. We had yeah. Arthur Motes here last year okay. from James Madison. And of course, now you here from University of Richmond. So ask them in the past that, you know, the schedule comes out, of course, you know, the cliche, we'll take a game at a time. But I know there were some games you circled yeah. on there. Who are those teams that you really were like, oh, I can't wait to play them? Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, you know I first ones I, I'm, I'm excited now you're always excited to play the one the one eight right the fbs yeah, yeah. yeah. you want to see who you got because mm -hmm. at the end of the day that's how you really kind of compare yourself you measure yeah. up you look to see who's on the schedule mm -hmm. uh who are their preseason all americans or wow. rankings Th this is yep. how i'm really going to get to measure myself up so you look at that fbs and then in conference you look at who was the top dog last year right yeah. who was that whether it was james madison whether it was william mary villanova who was that doc, top dog? I got to knock out the top dog. Mm -hmm. uh, as a spider, William Mary has been that, you know, the longest, one of the longest uh, rivalries in the South. But really, I told someone last night, JMU yep. has turned into <laughs> an intense rivalry. So we, I had to make sure when it was that week, you were ready to go. Yep. This is not going to be a pretty week. <laughs> it, it's all business. Everyone gets to sleep. Yep. No, I don't want to hear any, any, any extracurricular activities. Yep. We made sure we were ready to go that week. So uh, you definitely, you definitely marked uh, some games on the schedule. As, as you transitioned into the NFL, you're coming out of Richmond, an FCS or a one double A school, like it was called when, when we played, right? You know, what was that like? Do you have that same chip on your shoulder? Do you feel like, I mean, you were drafted, right? So they obviously recognized 
that you had the ability to do it. But when you got into that locker room, did you feel like you had to prove yourself a little bit more? A hundred percent. I mean, and that was you, you're you're constantly reminded of um, again that where you came from right. uh, when, when you're being compared, even the interview process uh, with some of the coaches, the question of well the competition. Well, he did mm -hmm. it, but it was a competition, and and uh, so as soon as you get there and you see the Florida States and the Clemsons and. It's just a certain aura and mindset that you're just like, man, I've worked harder than these guys, whether you did or you didn't. Right. But it was just a certain perspective that I knew I had to be mm -hmm. uh, that much better in training camp. I, I had to be that much better. I had to do that much more uh, to stand out, to be recognized, because uh, there were a lot of people who I felt like didn't feel like I deserved to be on this, right. on mm -hmm. this stage. Um, and I hadn't proven myself yet. So, but it was great for me again. I think it was great for me. I, I don't know how it would have impacted me if I had gone to a larger school. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm thankful for it. Now, obviously a lot of players from this league have played in the NFL or are still even currently playing in the NFL. Is there like, do you ever run into some of the CAA or the conference? Is there like an alumni group yeah. when you guys run into each other? Some guys that you played against in college from this conference? And is there yeah. kind of like a chip on your shoulder from all, do you all have a similar chip on your shoulder when you get, when you've gotten to that next level? I don't know, but that, that's a great idea that um, I'm, I'm going to look into now. You, 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 yeah. You've given me a great idea. Uh -oh. um, I'm going to run with it. If it's, uh, uh, there you go. Um, I need a patent. In there. But uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. You know, there there is. It's one of those unspoken things. I told a few guys in, in the locker room, um, I'm, I'm pulling for you, except the, when you're playing Richmond. Right. Yeah. Other than that, uh, I don't look. Respect to all college uh, collegiate football uh, players, but I don't know what SEC football is like. I don't know what big uh, uh, any of the other conferences. Mm -hmm. And so there's just kind of like this unspoken, in the whether it's in the locker room, whether you see mm -hmm. guys in the airport, different parts of town, training, wherever it is, there's a respect level. It's already playing at this level, at the NFL level. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not easy to get there and, 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 and to do it. But you know when there's a guy who's come from, a, you know, the, the CAA or, 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 or FCS conference, you understand how rare it is and how special it is. And I yeah. think there's this unspoken just respect mm -hmm. that we have when, we, yeah. when you hear where a guy's from. And um, it's special, man. It's mm -hmm. definitely a bond in the locker room. And like I said, when you see guys where they are, you you knew the road. They took the road less traveled, yeah. yep. and um, and it's special, and you, and, you, and you respect that. What are you up to now, man? Chasing. Uh, I'm surprised that my kids aren't here. Ch chasing, <laughs> yeah. chasing uh, three kids around, man, and, and uh, I do some commercial real estate there in Richmond, and really, uh, you know, I try to stay around Richmond to make sure I just yeah. keep my face and show, show those guys. I didn't have, we didn't have a lot of alumni coming back, right? right. And I think that's one of the things that I took from. Um, some of the guys in the locker room and some mm -hmm. of the programs in Miami and the, and the different, the bigger yeah. schools, those guys came back. Those young guys, they saw veterans, they saw mm -hmm. guys coming back and, and they saw their work ethic, they, they, they saw their leadership. They were able to learn those things. And so I said to myself that, hey, when I, when I got to a certain point, I would make sure that I was available, that if young guys need to ask me questions about, about athletics, about life, yeah. that mm -hmm. I would be there. So, you know, Richmond's home base for us and I'm here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure me, listening to you earlier on. Yes. A great message to the student athletes that are here today. And, uh, you know, good luck uh, with the Spiders this year, watching them as they can for their 2019 season and hope to see you around soon. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We're going to step aside.